internet historian in the building, okay? All right? We learned a lot of things about Fallout trash. The end of the world, trash, all right? Mr. Camping, you're done. But today we have Tales from the Varaz. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are the Little Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. And y'all see what we got, all right? And I actually wanted to do this one last time, but I didn't know if I should do it because, like, you know, this was a very touchy subject, like, two years ago. It still is. I ain't gonna lie. I had to go to the, uh, the doctor today. And um, I was like, whoo. Been in the house, I forgot what masks look like, not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Been out here uh, sitting on my back porch watching nature. Things like that. No, gays are gay. No. All right? We ain't go that far. But let's hop into this. Let's get it. The following does not endorse or condone harassment towards any individuals. Clearing cash here. 2021. Inhale. I can finally breathe again. It must be over. Scanning for traces of human life. 5G scanners activate. Bro, y'all remember. All you 5Gers out there, all right? Come to the front. All right? Let me talk to you. Explain. I need to know what happened. <laughs> Nothing detected. The species Homo sapien is extinct. It's time to fulfill my purpose. Executing Operation Ice to Sea. They got me in here like uh, Captain America. Welcome back. Let me brief you on how the world ended. Kraken Pro? Actually, the details are a bit foggy, but it's believed that Batman was eating soup with his hands at a Chinese restaurant when someone coughed on the croutons. Yo, yo, the toilet paper shortage. Humanity got a lot of a lot to answer for. All right, somebody please clip this and put this in the 2020 documentary. All right, about how wild people was. They was going crazy out here. Right. Mm. January 2020, the virus is spreading across the globe. All right, now everyone just pops over dead and we win. Sweet. And everyone was amped to start panicking. Oh my God, the virus TM is everywhere. <laughs> in your country, in your homes, in your cereal. Better not touch that door handle. Better not touch your face. Don't touch me. Breathe somewhere else, Vector. <laughs> People said, oh, I suppose it is kind of cute though. No, I must resist. Guys? Does anyone else feel like the air in here is kind of chunky? How do I take my white cell count? These ones all look red. You get the idea. So naturally, rumors started to spread. Right. And the first one was about toilet paper. Hey, um, I heard that here in Australia, 90% of our toilet paper. There's no way people were talking about toilet paper being from, no, no. Is no. produced in China. Maybe that means there'll be no more stock. So the public went out to grab an extra pack. Then the news stories started coming in about the lockdown. Oh, Fears yeah. realized. So they grabbed <laughs> two packs. No one knew how long the lockdown would last either. Better grab three. You know what's crazy? I went to the water aisle. They took all the bottles of water. Except for one brand. I'm gonna let y'all guess. What brand do y'all think was left? And I mean, they ain't touched one case of this water, all right? Eh. Four, just in case. And everyone had that same concern. Within the week, stocks on shelves were getting noticeably low. And from there, it was self-perpetuating. Bathroom paper was suddenly the hottest commodity in town. Petrol stations, corner stores, major chain supermarkets, That's crazy. everybody was out. Then, of course, photos shared on social media and broadcast on television of empty shelves just amplified the hysteria again. How many dookies are taking? One pack. To which the media said, don't buy it. But also, it is running out. But don't stock up. But who knows when new stock is coming. But don't you hoard. But it may be many weeks before you can get more. 
the messaging to the public was a little mixed. You're saying to the nation this morning, Ali, stay calm, don't go and do it. But race out there and get it so that you're not... Then, as stock completely depleted, people were becoming desperate. Every store I go to, every day, every city, and every hour of every day, you're going to find completely empty shelves. Fights broke out between those who had none and those who had too much. It was chaos in the aisle. I seen that video. Round one. Fight. Bro, what was better? Toilet paper 2020 fights or Black Friday early 2000 fights, bro? Damn, that was the time to be alive. I ain't gonna lie. I was at the mall in Georgia like, yo, hey, yo, hit a swing, swing. It was crazy out there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> The Australian toilet roll crisis had reached critical mass. People were threatening to shit in the store, and someone even pulled a knife. This is enough. Enough. <laughs> the CEO of Australia came out and said, It's been one of the most disappointing things I've seen in Australian behaviour in response to this crisis. But that scolding did little to quell the frenzy. So, the media published articles informing people that actually this is all fake news and 60% of Australia's toilet paper is produced domestically. Mm. But that also didn't quell the frenzy. So, supermarkets enacted a one pack per person rule. Yeah, that was crazy. But frenzies cannot be quelled. Bruh, and people so were selling sheets, like not a roll, like one sheet of toilet paper on Craigslist for $3.50. Come on, bro. So that's when the price online on, soared. Amazon, eBay, Gumtree, toilet paper was everywhere. <laughs> First for double the price, then triple. Yep. Then things just went wild. Ten packs, single rolls, a few pieces of three ply, all for crazy prices. People went from selling it by the pack oh. to selling it by the gram. Number two large. And the rest of us who couldn't afford it had to get creative. <laughs> You're done. But fear not, citizen. Here come the heroes. One of Australia's state newspapers swooped in with a special edition to save the day. It featured eight blank pages at the back, just in case. By the way, this was after an Australian family had accidentally made a massive online order. They thought they were getting 48 rolls. You got 480? They were getting 48 boxes. And soon they had become the de facto royalty of Australia. They built a throne with the boxes and sat aloft it. I found the crown of Australia in the gutter, he said. And I picked it up. Nah, but for the rest of us common crazy. folk, Thievery was the only answer. Facts. We began stealing from public toilets. We began stealing from work. A new survey has found one in three Aussies has stolen toilet paper from work to use at home. Some started stealing from hotels. Stealing from cars. What? Stealing from the block. Yo, breaking in to somebody's car to wipe your dookie hole when you have a washcloth, you know, at home you could... You know, I said, hey, look, wash it, throw it in the washing machine, hand wash it. Look, people had to be creative before paper towels, bro. Breaking in the car, not the answer, okay? Blind. Even animals were stealing. It's a pretty <laughs> good memes, though. And just as some relief was coming, oh, thank God, a new shipment. But that truck burned down. Fire crews rescued what roles they could. The rest left charred and soggy. Fascinatingly, a problem what? which began in, and was specific to, Australia was soon spreading to the rest of the world, despite the circumstances being completely different. In fact... So you're telling me people in America was doing this? Yo, oh my, this is why, get off the internet, bro. Please, every, well, no, I'm just kidding, because my job is on the internet. Come watch entertainment on the internet. Just 
Listen, listen. Put put, put your tin foil hat on or something, bro, before y'all get on the internet. Jesus. Stats time. In most countries, the majority of toilet paper is actually produced locally. Mm -hmm. Toilet paper is cheap but bulky, meaning it's expensive to ship relative to its retail value. Ah, so yeah. domestic producers are often able to manufacture at a cost lower than their international competitors. TLDR, unless the factories in your country shut down, there isn't going to be a shortage. But shut up and panic. No. And so toilet paper <laughs> became a highly profitable business. And that's when organized criminal gangs moved in. <laughs> Armed robbers in Hong Kong held a delivery driver at knife point and got away with around 600 rolls. 18,000 pounds of toilet paper was stolen from this lorry. And this, and this, and this, and many more. But it's time to move on. After about four weeks with consumption steady and everyone only having one arse to wipe, and supply increasing to compensate, toilet paper returned to shelves. The balance was restoring. The shops were healing. Which meant it was time to panic about something else. We can't, hold on, hold on, we can't have the toilet paper. 5G facts, facts, facts. 5G time. So you think it's a virus? That's cute. Let me fill you in on the scoop, rookie. See that tower over there? Now look at this. Coincidence? Five G's, five fingers, five sides to a pentagram. PlayStation 5. Awful lot of coincidences lining up, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and social media agreed. With these. Yup, there's Carrie Hilson. Get her out of here, right? <laughs> and social. Look, this one right here, I remember this, boy. We was on your nugget, all right? When, it, when this tweet dropped, we hit the block, we was on you. Social media agreed. With these indisputable facts, such as, I have headache, it was only inevitable that the word would spread like a wildfire. It was time for the 5G squad to leap into action. 5G squad! Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, that lady from that movie, Alien. People began protesting the 5G towers. Save lives! 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 And the destruction was extensive. I had no idea really until I started People digging. Were blowing but in the towers? UK, over 50 towers were vandalized or set ablaze in a single month. Reported by April, 39 servicing engineers had been attacked on the job. You know when they turn this on, it's going to kill everyone, and that's why they're building the hospitals? In North Carolina, one woman just started opening fire on a couple of technicians. Whoa! There were two workers up on the tower when the shots rang out. A third worker on the ground ran up into this area, and that's where he called for help. The two men were... Oh, God, listen, you, you fire at me while I'm 80,000 80, feet in the air? When I get, you're getting beats, all right? I don't care. Look, look, they're gonna have to arrest me. Okay, no but when police came, she armed herself with two axes and barricaded herself in her home. Did you shoot at a cell tower worker, man? This was her, oh, bro. I'm tired of this place, bro. I'm tired of this place. Aliens, come get me, bro. I, I seen the alien Lucy in Area 51. Just let me in, bro, please. She's out on bond <laughs> and she's had the weapons confiscated. New 5G. Stimulate your senses. <laughs> In Auckland, New Zealand, at least a dozen 5Gs have been vandalized or set ablaze. Mysterious fires have hit 15 cell towers in the last six weeks. In the Netherlands, 16. Reports of more in Ireland, Cyprus and Belgium. Counter-terrorist police are getting involved in Australia. And seven cell tower fires in Montreal, Canada. Although, one big problem. How do you tell 5G from the regular Gs? You strap yourself in and feel the Gs! Well, it's not actually that easy for the untrained eye. Most of the destroyed towers were actually yeah, just regular it. ones, That's carrying crazy. essential 2 to 4G network infrastructure, causing outages for emergency services and the public. Naturally, YouTube and Facebook started cracking down on the 5G conspiracy groups That's and banning everyone. And the movement has gone somewhat underground. <gasps> oh my God, they're in on it. <laughs> Alongside false causes came false cures. No vaccine yet? No problem. Here's a list of placebos that'll get you patched up. High dose infusions of vitamin C, silver solution, touching your TV, kissing a shrine, spiritual vaccines, plant sap in the eye, special mattress, cow urine, cow dung, camel urine, a cotton ball soaked in violet oil in the anus, miracle mineral- Oh, what? Camel urine, a cotton ball soaked in violet oil in the anus. Oh my, yo, nah, bro. 
What is this world? What is it? Miracle mineral solution, drinking fish tank cleaner, eating fruit that looks like the virus, treatment packs, toothpaste, the biocharger NG subtle energy platform TM, vegetarianism, virus shutout protection pendants, healthy living, radionics it machine, is. schwang swing ganglion, injecting house cleaner, hand cream, garlic, bananas, alcohol, water, ginger, <laughs> lemon, mangoes, durian, onions, it's everything. Everything and anything is apparently a cure. But who needs cures? I've got something better. Add time. Soon. Soon we will be together. <laughs> they are ready for you, Mr. VPN. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Today we're looking at that hood look a little crazy, my boy, not gonna lie. Nord VPN. <laughs> Gather around everyone. Here's my girlfriend. Well, a friend. She's my girlfriend, but I'm not her boyfriend. It's complicated. Point is, she doesn't use NordVPN. If she did, she could access international catalogs from her favorite streaming services. Oh shit, get down. Now let's pretend that this window is her computer security. Look how easily I can just snatch up all their data. Ho oh, ho, jackpot. If she had used NordVPN, we wouldn't be looking at all her personal photos. Hey, look at Lisa, this one. Oh shit, we're good. busted. Everyone, cheese it. Oh, nice. Now imagine this was you. And imagine this was a three year plan with 70% off as a three extra month. <laughs> <laughs> he won't stop. I need to buy tickets and leave the country. Oh no. No, not again. Wi-Fi isn't safe. Encrypt your browsing with your VPN. Taxi -e. No sweat. Oh, I can see from her browsing history that she is going to Japan. That's crazy. Finally. Some peace. There's no way he can find me here in Japan. Really? An Airbnb's <laughs> Wi-Fi? Don't you know how dangerous that is? Also, Yo, there's access though, to international know. content. How did he find me? No, 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 you can roughly break goods into two categories, commercial and retail. Yeah, okay. With all the restaurants and a ton of manufacturing shut down, the commercial side came to a grinding halt. Half of the stock had crazy. nowhere to go. Maybe we could just send it to the supermarkets. No can do. You have to repackage, process and deliver all of that stuff before the new expiration date and with a limited workforce. Mm. Then you'd have to get the supermarkets to agree to take all that extra stock and meanwhile, people aren't going to simply buy twice as many groceries. So either it rots on the shelves or the price drops below cost. What's the point? Cheap meat! So there's a big surplus. The supply chain had broken. By week Facts. one of the lockdown, farmers Bro, all around the no country are looking at the their shelf. billions of dollars of quickly expiring crop with no one to take it from them. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, we probably could have survived off of, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, french fries. Cause I know Idaho, all right. Look, I didn't see any cringe comments. I know about Idaho. Um, y'all had probably had mad potatoes to give away, bro. We could have survived the whole pandemic. Everybody just eat French fries. And they know that by next week, they'll have double that amount. Sandra, uh, how many eggs do we eat a week? I don't know, probably ten. Why? Hmm. That means our leftovers are going to be about three quarters of a million eggs. Well, I don't want seven hundred and fifty thousand chickens. I guess there's only one thing to do. So the farmers began neutralizing their crops. Target neutralized. It was a slaughter. Oh, Ray, thank you for the Millions problem. of pounds of onions were buried alive in Idaho. Farmers stopped making grain. I told you Idaho had to had this, bro. I, I actually seen somebody eat an uh, onion like an apple. I reported them to the police for show. You know and saying? started <laughs> making donuts. Donuts on their tractors all over the field, turning everything to compost. Cabbages were being ravaged. The potatoes weren't being atoed. Boo. I have potato blood in my veins. 
squash were being compressed. The dairy farmers of America estimated that 3.7 million gallons of milk were being dumped every day. Oh, he, he needs, needs some, some milk. milk. That's crazy. But once the farmers had destroyed their crops, of course, they had to immediately plant new ones because demand could come back and you wouldn't want to get caught a whole crop cycle behind the market. Yep. So the cycle would repeat and repeat and repeat until everything returned to normal. <laughs> Zoom. Yo, that's how HelloFresh came in there and they was like, hey, look, instead of y'all throwing away all this stuff, let us packages and send it to people. You know what I'm saying? HelloFresh is not slick. All right? G give me my sponsorship, bro. I'll post y'all on IG every day. So everyone was locked in their houses. But work, school, and life had to carry on. What's 9 plus 10? And that's where Zoom came in. Simple to use, able to host up to 100 people per meeting. Millions moved over to Zoom and it skyrocketed to number one in the App Store. Facts. Companies right and educational institutions all jumped on the Zoom train too. Why not? It was so easy. All you needed was the room key. Even the boomers could use it. <laughs> can you see my dog? Then people start getting hats. Look, I can change the background. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, did he fall? These are some of my friends from high school. Okay. Okay, everyone. I'll see you on Wednesday. We but know many that video. Used to having a camera Y'all know that video. I've never seen it though. Some even forgot they were being watched. Very high standards and, and like, like. Or didn't know that the camera had turned on at all. No, your, your video is on. And then someone had a brilliant idea. What if I just published this room Luke here AFK. online? Come on, hey, they better shout out Luke AFK on this. Mr. Nob, are you joining us? Do you have a breastfeeding question? <laughs> Am I bugging yeah. or is fucking Mary dead right now, bro? Hey, see you again. <laughs> and what if I gave it to one of my favorite online creators? Perhaps some of the greatest live stream content to ever grace this humble platform. Take out your number two pencils. It's time to learn. Who is this? I am uh, Asha Chamya from Wuhan Chitabuja University. Too mad. Who let you in? Hey guys, this is uh, Chris. Hey guys, this is Joe Nuts. Are you in my class? Yes, I am a transfer student from Onyingun Village. A transfer student from, where do you say? From Onyingun Village. So what are we learning today? Does anyone uh, want to tell me I come to class late? And no one wants to tell me why? Why? Tell me reason. Hold on. Is he? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wrong. Uh, you look up uh, something real quick. There, bro. <laughs> I'm part of Zoom. I'm an employee of Zoom. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to press Alt and F4 at the same time on your keyboard to fix your room because it's currently public. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. You guys are gonna start the next revolution in America. We I knew I seen that face somewhere. All right, I knew it. I knew it. Hold on. Listen. Um, y'all know, okay? If you if you use Twitter, a couple days ago, no matter what you searched on Twitter. There's certain things that popped up, all right? Now, you could go ahead and look up his Twitter, and you're going to see your favorite bathwater princess and him in some pics, all right? I knew. I seen this like four days ago. That's crazy. We hope. I mean, we can definitely use one. Rabbi Dusha. I like the sound of that. How do you get him out? It was Hunter. Hunter, let me in. Hunter, Hunter, why did you do this? Yes, it was. Don't nod your don't don't do that with your head. No, you. If you don't know, just type in too mad on on, on uh, Twitter. Uh, go to his media. Do like two scrolls, and you are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Dick. Who are you? What do you mean? Who am I? I'm a bird, 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 bird. I'm a dead bird, 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 all sides, and you let me through the gate. <laughs> Who the heck is it? Oh my God! What the? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think there is a realistic way where they could do anything about it. What's two plus four? Uh, two plus. Hmm. One and one. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this this thoughts about Natalie's story. What does it do? What does shop young young? What does it do? What? History class. Oh hell yeah! And he's lost an election twice. He um, he's um. Uh, <laughs> He's like so confused. He saw the cock and he was like, what? Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about it now, okay? So, um, you guys can open up the- I'll give you a minute or two to open up. Robert, take that off your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Robert! Robert's gonna get some trouble! Robert's probably in his room right now just fucking freaking out. It's like, it's not me! I'm Robert, baby. Robert, how could you? But then they had a whole. Burn. Imagine. I'm glad I wasn't in school during this time. A bunch of controversies, and a number of schools and companies stopped using the platform. Rip. Even Dang. though the stock price keeps going up. That's good. Oh, yeah, With people nice. locked in their homes. Nature was allowed to return to the unoccupied streets. The healing had begun. Facts, facts. Real happy world. Satellite imagery showed pollution levels dropping everywhere. The canals of Venice were changing from their usual feculent brown to a vibrant blue as boats were docked and silt could resettle. From their windows, residents could see fish, algae, and other sea life return to the waters. But that wasn't all. Animals saw the free real estate and began migrating into the cities and towns. <laughs> Sheep and whales took back the town and ruled over it with an iron hoof. Hungry monkeys in Thailand took to the city square as the tourists who usually fed them disappeared. Dang. Giant ducks were seen in London. Alligators in Florida were once again using the roads. Rats in New Orleans were... No, that's normal. Otters in Singapore. I swear oh I God. haven't been in New Orleans. Are we the virus? Go. Human beings are a disease. Facts. That is mm. profound. Dude, True. dude. Maybe we will the real corona all along. Nature returned to New York for the first time since it was established in 65 million BC. We even had a good fake out on an extinct species, the Malabar civet, which hasn't been seen for 30 years. Oh my god. Although it turns out it was just a regular, sick Indian civet. <laughs> Scooters were returning to the riverways. Nilgai? Haven't heard of that. Cows had begun returning to the ocean. Cats was seen by some in London to a limited audience. Who Sandbar cats? were incorrectly using zebra crossings. And giraffes had returned to the cities. Nature is healing. Namaste. Anyway, I'm busy. That's the lesson. Here's a multi-tool. Good it. luck out there. Please close the door behind you. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god. Is this... Mars? This is one hell of a twist. I know, right? Oh my god, it's Elon Musk. Yes, a double twist. Welcome home, X Ash A. Thirteen. Oh my god! It's a triple twist! Triple twist is crazy. Video over. Bro, look, I ain't gonna lie. Crazy time. I know he got a part two to this. So we're gonna watch that, alright? So much happened, you know what I'm saying? During that time period. Bro, the p past two years felt like we was put in a hyperbolic time chamber and our joint lasted for like 10. It's crazy. But listen, y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. You know what I'm saying? Until the next time I see y'all. Peace. Who said we ain't body test the gang and you'll get touched? You'll get she touched. ride it, Kawasaki, roll my blunts and keep it quiet. Shh. Money is the motor, so we keep it on our mind. On our mind. You'll get put in the stretch, yellow tape, so please don't try.